Yeah, welcome. Thank you. Have a seat. There is something I want to ask you. Okay. I hope you know how I care for you. Yes, that's And how I love you. Yes. And I don't choke with you. I and don't. I'm ready to do anything for you. I hope you know that. Yes, that's true. Now, well, what is the, um, what is going, what is the current uh, update between you and Frank? I, I know your wedding is very close and then, uh, how is preparation going on? Daddy, there is nothing going on. You are just there. You're okay. Uh, I don't get the meaning you are just there. Uh, you should have by now tell me your plans. How you are preparing your your wedding cards and the invitation cards and other things. Your wedding gown. What you put in on that day. I, I, I really want to see something going on. So Daddy, we are doing that. Don't worry. You, you will see. Everything very soon. We are on it. What you say? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, but Frank was here yesterday. Frank? Yeah. And he never told me. Yes. Because he came with a complaint about you. Complain? Yeah. Who is that boy that comes to pick you from the house whenever you go to school <laughs> in the morning? Veil. Yes. He's the one he took he told me about. He really pointed his name. And Phil is just my friend. He's like a steady mate to me. Actually he's good in mathematics, so sometimes he assists me with my math homework. Uh, he he told me anytime he comes to pick you from school, he meets your absence. Anytime you close and he comes to pick you. Before he gets there, you've already left with that young man. Then sometimes he doesn't come early, so since my friend stays around, sometimes I find it very interesting to walk with him to the house and nothing else. You know what? No matter what, wait for Frank to come and pick you. You know, you are you are my life savings. I I am I can't do without you. I do every other thing to make you happy. Whatever you need in life. Just ask me, and I will make sure I do it for you. Therefore, I don't want anything to come between you and Frank. I hope you understand that. Yes. Frank late father was my very, very good friend before he passed on. And uh, you know, I have been at home for the past eight years without working. But I make sure I provide each and everything you require to you. Therefore, Please, I am begging of you. I don't want you to come home without Frank. I want to see the company of you two at all times. Let this be in your mind. And also, I, I, I don't want a situation whereby you will betray me or betray Frank. Please, I'm telling you this. Wait for Frank. Frank's time is the best time for you. Wait for him. Is that okay with you? Yes, but that the front is lying. There's nothing going on between my friend and I. You see, I invested I have invested so much in you. And if for any reason you disappoint me, no Frank, I won't take it like I'm with you. But they will not disappoint you. Trust me, there's nothing going on. Where he's just said? exaggerating. I don't know why he's thinking that way, but trust me, there's nothing going on. Let it be just like that. I don't want anything else apart from being good in mathematics or whatever you say. Because I have I have given all my life for you. Everything you need in this life, I make sure I give it to you. And you know, I've been waiting for an opportunity which is just this six months left for you to complete your education. And that six months is like a thousand years before me and anything that happened within this period of time you have to be extraordinarily careful in your in your doings with it's my you are my life saving 
I have, I have invested everything I have in you. And I hope you know that I am talking to you as a friend. Now you are my friend. You are part and parcel of me. I hope you get what I'm saying. Yes, I am not talking to you like father and daughter anymore. But now we are friends. So take whatever word I tell you. I hope you are okay with that. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. So that's why I called you. Okay. Then I'll be, be in my room. Girl. Be a good girl. Yes, daddy. Can I go? Yeah. Alright, I'll be in my room then. Bye. your daughter my daughter yes. she's gone to school okay i thought i would catch up with her before she can go to school oh, she already left okay so there's something that is going on that i don't like at all okay and i did my investigation very well and all evidence led back to you so i have a sister called Farida. Okay. So she was raped at her childhood and that led to her sexual addiction. Okay. Yes. God have mercy. They did all they could but there was not there was no remedy for her addiction. So they decided to bring her down here to me. Okay. And I spent a lot of money to cure her and she's still in the process of recovering mm -hmm. yes but your daughter Cynthia took advantage of that by setting her up with a man that has triggered the illness more hmm. oh and I'm not very happy not happy because I can't see my sister going through that and I will just sit back and be watching that. And I heard that it was your daughter that did this. I was very, I was very surprised that how can a daughter of a pastor, a responsible one for that matter, do this? Yes. So I can just go at your back and do anything on my own. So I decided to come to you, so I'll let you know before taking action. Okay. Did you just say Cynthia? Yes, your daughter Cynthia. I don't have a daughter with that name. My daughter is Favor. I don't have any Cynthia in my house. And I have only one daughter, and she is Favor. Say, so, as you know me very well, so I did my investigation very well. And I can't come and then without a concrete evidence. Yes. Say, so, please, is that not your daughter? Yes, yeah, she looked like my daughter. 
But then her name is not Cynthia. Where does the Cynthia name come from? Hmm. My daughter is Favor and she looks like, like Favor. Hmm. The photo here looks like Favor. And I don't think Favor will get herself entangled with such a situation or activities. I brought her up in the Christian environment. She, 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 she can't get herself involved in such a thing. Anyway, I will find out when she comes home. What is the problem? Why should she get herself in such a situation if at all she did? And where did she get her Cynthia name from if she is the one you're referring to? Or maybe there's some something wrong somewhere. Because you know, um, technology these days can easily adulterate some photos and then make some amendments and they look alike. But she actually looked like my daughter. But I doubt if my daughter will get herself engaged in such a situation. Secondly, the name that you are using, Cynthia, is not that of my daughter. My daughter's name is Favor. Anyway, um, uh, Inspector Mugabe, huh? yes, please. Mugabe, I know you very well. I will get in touch with you as soon as possible. I'm just waiting for her to come from school. Then I know what to do. You're welcome. Thank you. You were very nice. I said I am fuming with anger. I know. Yes. So please do your work and get back to me. I will. Thank you very much. I will. Notice that some of you didn't go home yesterday. After we closed classes, you remained in the school. And when you were about to go home, the gates man, that is Mr. Who, tried to question you people. And you all you can do is to beat him up. Hey. <laughs> yes, you did it. <laughs> Yeah, you people, shut up. <coughs> who are those who did that? <coughs> Cynthia. <coughs> Quincy. Mary and her Nigerian sister. You guys should come forward. <coughs> Can't you hear come forward? Why is Mimi? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cynthia and the rest, come forward. Quincy, Cynthia, Mary, come forward. Who really did that? A bit Cynthia! Ah. And where is Mimi and your Nigerian sister? Where are they? Mimi is upset. Oh, wow. So are they here to pass their exams? So the three of you, <coughs> you have the audacity. You have the F1 tree to beat the, the security officer. Beat the gate, man. Now you did Thank you. Hmm. Look at you. 
you, you are not ashamed of yourself. You were always a good example to your colleagues. Mary. Mary. Look, at, look, at, look at the way she's even dressed. <laughs> and you, Wonders. when you came begging like a snail to preach, you came to this school with a Bible. I remember that day, she was holding two sets of Bibles. She even came to ask for permission. And now, today, you don't even have your Bible. You want to go out of the school with a gun. Like the chain. And the way you are now, you are beating a chief security officer. You. Now you think you're a gangster. <coughs> you, you want to go out of this school with guns. If, if not for Bemelans. <laughs> And you, because you are taller, you are taller than him, mm. so you want to beat him. Huh? And you, the rest of you, what are you doing? It's okay. You Come go. on. Inside. 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 Mary, you are one is wonderful. I don't even know what to Go, go inside. Ask them. Let them determine. You are going to determine it yourself. As for your punishment, me, I don't even, I don't even know what to tell them. I don't you know, know what to tell them. They are going to decide. You will determine the kind of punishment you want. It's either you scrub the toilets, the baths, the urinal for both boys and girls. Option one, or you with the school pack, the whole pack. I mean the whole pack. Oh, you are going to kneel down here the whole day. Oh. You need that to the whole day. Look at it. Yeah. That was a day good now. Misconduct. So did you really, did you really come to bed?